Is the Department of Justice targeting Donald Trump for indictment, which would be the first federal indictment of any former president? Well, there is new reporting on that score today that Donald Trump is a target in the documents case at DOJ. Now, more than one reporter or outlet has discussed this possibility. The Guardian reports, according to two sources, that, quote, federal prosecutors have formally informed Trump's lawyers last week that he is a target of the criminal investigation, specifically in the documents pro. Now, what is Donald Trump's response to this? That is something obviously worth including. And Donald Trump was speaking to New York Times reporter Maggie Haberman about this question. And as I mentioned, that more than one reporter has sort of raised this or sourced it. And she posted today, quote, when I asked if he had been told he's a target, he demurred, saying he doesn't talk directly to prosecutors. As noted, that's not a full denial. Now, The Guardian story is making major waves tonight, as I mentioned earlier in the broadcast, and as I reiterate now, MSNBC and NBC News have not confirmed that the DOJ has instructed Trump's lawyers that he's a target. I want to now bring in the journalist who did break this story, Hugo Lowell, the political investigations reporter for The Guardian, who's also live outside that very courthouse in Miami. Uh, thanks for making time for us tonight. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, first, what exactly does your reporting show? Yeah, so we learned this afternoon that uh, Trump's lawyers were told last week by letter uh, from the Justice Department that the special counsel's office considered Trump a target in the Mar-a-Lago documents investigation. And this was not something that the lawyers had previously been told about. Uh, and it seems that this letter, in part, was the reason why Trump's lawyers did request a meeting with the Justice Department uh, and actually met with the special counsel and what we understand to be a senior career official in the deputy attorney general's office this week. Have you had portions of that letter read or shared with you? So we've had a readout. Uh, we've had a re basic a summary of that letter. Uh, I think, as you can imagine, I don't think Trump and his lawyers are particularly keen to share it. Uh, it's been a very close hold. And I think part of the reason why we're so confident in the designation being applied to Trump is because, uh, from what we understand, several of Trump's top lawyers and senior advisors uh, had a long conversation this afternoon about how to manage the fallout uh, of this letter. And they were trying to minimize how many reporters were going to do a story on it. And Trump himself was really not keen for this to be reported out. And I think when we learned that, we were pretty confident that Trump has been designated a target. When you say you're confident, of course, we respect and understand the confidentiality of sources and the careful way that The Guardian and you have reported and quoted this. Uh, we have on the screen, Guardian, Trump lawyers told he's a, quote, target in special counsel probe. Um, within and with respect for that, is there anything else, Hugo, you can tell us, share with our audience about why you're confident? For example, if you have two sources who uh, have no regular contact uh, with the investigation, right, or the defense side or DOJ, uh, generally a journalist would, would feel less confident about going on a big story than folks who are closer to it. So with respect, is there anything more you can share with us there? Yeah, look, you know, the, 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 the lawyers that we spoke to and the people that we spoke to who, uh, who are in Trump world uh, kind of alluded, this, the, alluded to the letter early in the day. And then when we try to run it down, we were informed by a very, very senior advisor to Trump on the campaign side uh, that the letter was genuine. And then we were also uh, advised by a second source who uh, straddles the campaign and the legal team in, in some sense that uh, the letter was genuine. And when we put to them that we would be reporting the story, they did not wave us off. Uh, and then subsequently, we were also able to get more confirmation that the letter was genuine. And I think, you know, that's when really, you think about the proximity just, of the full thing. Let me just jump in. Trump. I'm only going to slow you down and say that's that's really helpful. I appreciate that context. So, Hugo, is it fair to say that uh, at the time of press and over the ensuing hours tonight, uh, the Guardian's position is that uh, the people you've spoken to on behalf of Trump are not denying it. They're not disputing your report. Uh, no one has disputed our report, and we've run it by several people uh, in Trump's uh, orbit. Uh, and I think I should kind of add that Trump world thinking about the documents case has shifted in the last 24 hours. I think there was a lot of confusion, just like everyone else, 
why there was now a grand jury in Florida taking evidence in this case. And that mindset has now shifted to, you know, we believe that an indictment is likely to come out of the Southern District of Florida and that potentially maybe even Trump is the target in Florida. Like